Welcome back to Kevin the Wizard Plays Wizards Baseball. We are in the NLCS. I have simmed a couple of games. Uh, the game crashed on us last time we played, so I simmed to get to what could be a conclusive game tonight. So we're up three to two games against Milwaukee. We got a home game apparently tonight at 7.05. And this could be the deciding one. So thank you for stopping by. And if you enjoy it, hit the like button down below. Hit subscribe if you're new. And let's get into it. Because we could be headed towards the World Series tonight. And who better than Herman Marquez to be on the mound for that. Because he has been our ace all season long been a great time all right let's go there's our pitching matchup MLB The Show is your home for postseason baseball. Talk it's game six field. of the National League Championship Series between the Milwaukee Brewers and the Wizards. Wizards lead three to two, that's right. Hi again, everyone. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to our special postseason coverage of baseball on the show. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plesak. And Dan, obviously, a lot of things still up in the air as we get ready for game six. Yeah, you see the results through the first five games. It's game been six. everything we could have hoped for. And now, at three games to two, you've got a team coming in here that needs to win the final two games on the road to take the series. Going to be a tall order to fill, but I think they're as capable as anyone to pulling it off. All right. The stage yeah, we got is it. Set. The starters get their final tosses in out in the bullpen, and we've got a good one in store for you, folks. Play-by-play -play is coming up next Herman Marquez will do the pitching with a trip to the World Series on the table Dan any thoughts Let's go. Man, he pitched really well in his last one without allowing a single run and picking up the victory let's see if he can bring that yeah, we got this back one. to the ballpark with him and make it two really strong starts now at the plate here he's is my favorite because he's pretty good at hitting too get us started in this one under the lights as well as just being dominant. To begin the evening. And a look now at the batting order for the visiting Milwaukee Brewers. How do they go about staying alive in this one, Dero? Matty, you take a look at this lineup. I find myself thinking back to my playing days when I knew I had the ace on the mound. It had to be win day, and when you get in a car to drive to the yard, you tell yourself, even though you felt bad about it, just get two or three. All the pressure's on the big boy to have to execute, and usually does. Look for this lineup to try and execute and score, manufacture one or two runs early in this one. Now the one and one pitch. 67 degrees, our game time temperature. Counts even at two and two to Wong. The offensive game plan today is certainly to see the ball up. This guy is known on the mound for sinker changeup combination. He's going to try and establish down in the zone to get swing and a miss or ground balls consistently. You have to find something above the Bring belt to get loose on. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Colton Wong is the second out of the opening frame. We're ready for the World Series. We can taste it. In no Brewers are going to stand in the way. One. Previous history with Herman I don't know where that He's missed. Two for nine. He's taken him deep once. And a fastball in there for a strike. One and one. All right, that's Bases strike two. Here with two men out. Not really. But could be. Popped him up. Doesn't matter. The point's moot now. And he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory, and that ends the inning. 
So a rather pedestrian Let's start go. to the top half of the first. I love Taco Bell Field. One, with no score after a half an inning. Also, I thought this game was at 7.05 p.m. It's still Freddie daytime. Peralta is charged with keeping their hopes alive on the mound here in the league championship series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Kind of a strange outing in his last one, Matt. Was able to pitch into the sixth inning. Wasn't able to complete the inning. It kind of got away from him in the sixth. It'll be interesting, Matt, to see how he bounces back in this one. Here's Mookie Betts. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Come on, Mookie. Pitch on the way. And here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1-0. and Hit hard back up the middle. And a base hit, nice. so early trouble to lead off the inning. Hey, you want to be the team on the attack That's all you gotta do. without question. In the bottom of the first, starting it off with a leadoff single gets everyone in your dugout going. Up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0-2. This is a tough guy to turn two on. It's got to be hit hard. If you're an infielder, you've got to catch it and get rid of it quickly. Betts on at first. Nobody out. Now a throw over. And another throw over. Keeping particularly close tabs on him. The nothing in two pitch. Strike taken, the throw. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. I like the that strike three taken. Strikes to put the runner in motion. Sometimes that can backfire and it can turn into one of those strike him out, throw him out, double plays, but he was able to get there safely at second. Next to dig in, Mike Trout for his career in this matchup. He's two for four. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. I like two for four. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. That's a pretty tough spot for him to deal with in the first inning. Runner in scoring position already, and now he's got the three hitter salivating in a good hitter's count. Now the 2 0. Hit back up the middle. Scooped up. And the off balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. He's safe at the play. They get as the run scores. So now here is Nolan Arenado. Let's go. That was aggressive base running. But it paid off. Let's go. That's a good thumbnail, right? <laughs> now the first pitch. All right, let's go. One nothing early. That's what we like. Nobody on. Drilled right back up the middle, and the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dan. Sent it back right where it came from. Told you no Brewers were getting in our way.
The batter will be Gavin Lux. Lifted the other way out to left center. Kane on the move. And he gets there as he had a lot of Dang. ground to cover that time, and the side yeah, is wow. retired. It's a run on two hits, one left. All right, one all right. inning in the books here. The Wizards on top, one to nothing. That's what I like. Let's go. Daniel Vogel backs next. He'll get us started in the top of the second. The first baseman, Daniel Vogel back. First offering. Fastball in there for a called strike. Not where you know, a lot of, that lot of guys one. don't like to swing at the first pitch. That might be the case with this one right here. Took a wheelhouse fastball, 0 oh, 0 oh, center cut. Didn't even give the impression he was swinging. Oh, high. Oh, no. Deep. That is a moonshot, folks. A long home. Yeah, run. fans got that one. Solo shot to right center, and the Brewers have come back to tie things at one. Wow. All right, well. That's what clearly hammered it. You so. wish you could take back as soon as it leaves your hand, but guess what? There are no delete or rewind buttons in baseball. That's a mistake, and it was a good job by his opponent to make him pay for it. So digging in next will be Travis Shaw as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. No outs, nobody on. Yanked hard but foul to the right. Stays alive, still 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Rounded softly down the line toward first. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at-bat going. Popped him up. Smith has a play, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Go. Time for a look at the defensive look at the defense. alignment for the home team. And let's take a look at outfielder Mookie Betts. You can make the argument he's the most dynamic player in our sport. Don't try and come inside with a fastball because it's getting turned around. But I don't think people realize how good he patrols the outfield. The ability to play all three positions with speed and a bazooka for an arm. Narvaez comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Into the corner and slicing foul. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Boy, there's the perfect pitch right there, the straight changeup. He hadn't used it yet in this at bat, and what does he do? He uses it, pulls the string, and gets the big strikeout. Here's Jackie Bradley now, as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. And Bradley swings and misses at that offering, and he's deep in the hole, 0-2. Hey, I got to commend him a little bit. Lead off homer, and now he's one pitch away from getting out of this inning. That will have to press pause. Let's go. Strike three to retire the side. But a run scores in the inning, and that'll have to be good enough as this solo home run knots things up. We'll go to the bottom of the second, all tied at one and one. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Last half of the second set to go, and up steps the power the bat of Pete Alonzo. Pete Alonzo. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. And he throws the fastball mm. by him here, 0 and 1. You could tell by the hitter's balance after that swing that he's seeing the ball really good. His timing is right there, and I expect him to catch something clean. Swing and a screamer, but this one's not going to stay fair. Oh, and here's a fastball right Let's down go. the middle of the plate that swung on and hit the deep left field, and this one's wow, not coming Wow, he hammered back. that. This is a long home run. Solo shot here to left. His second home run of the series. As they take the lead, it's two to one. 
Eat Alonzo. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in a game. He's ecstatic. Can't believe it. He's also very upset. All right, let's go, Will Smith. Here now is Will Smith. As he rips it on the ground to second, taken in by Wong. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. All right, guys, here's a defensive alignment for the Milwaukee Brewers. And let's take a look at Colton Wong, one of the more dynamic middle infielders in our sport. Ability to turn a double play, bazooka arm from a second baseman. Into the box now. Barry is Waldo. As with one away, he can't make contact on the first pitch. It's strike one. One run in. That was ugly, Barry. So far this inning. No sugar cutting that. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Hit on the ground out to short. Get there. And a good stretch over there is going to get him by a step for the second out. Hey, that was a gorgeous backhand stop right there. You could definitely tell he had a little trouble getting rid of it. Had to take that extra step. But I like that. The eternal clock was right on play. And he was able to make a great throw to get the out. Standing in now, Herman Marquez. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he reaches out for one and may have chased it as this is skied into the air to straightaway center. Keane is under it and he makes the catch for out number three. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. We've played two and it's now a two to one ball game. Let's go Pete Alonzo. Now to the plate, D. Strange Gordon, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. And a check swing here, but he clearly went around on a pitch that would have been a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Fouled away. Wastes a pitch on the knuckle curve there, one and two. Good hard sinker, but he lays off to even things at two and two. Hey, expect a challenge right here. Does not want to run the count full. On the ground to the left side. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the nice. third. Nice. Just barely got him, but we'll take it. One out, base is empty, and into bat next will be Freddy Peralta. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, Attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. And look out! How oh, that Oof. ran in and got him. And intentional or not, you do not want to be hitting pitchers out there. Oh boy, both right. pitchers belong to a closed fraternity, so you don't usually see that very often. And anytime it does happen, folks start hanging on the top steps of the dugout. 
These things usually don't go unpunished. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. And this is what happens when a power hitter is at the plate. You don't want to give him anything in the zone, and sometimes that leads to those tough-to-handle wild pitches. There's a chance they just put him on first now to avoid him doing any real damage. Well, obviously not yep. biting on the first two, so especially in a two and zero camp. Go ahead and wave him down to first base for free here. Now back, second base. Colton. So next to hit is Colton Wong. A base knock to the outfield could score the tying run from second. No balls and a strike to count. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Now a fastball here, not close, and it's 1 and 1 now. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. So a full count now. Peralta at second. Keen is over at first with one away. Strike three call. Bring him up. One out away from getting out of this. And he wanted ball four. Here's a look at our updated playoff brackets. He ain't the question it. on everyone's mind is will we be able to punch our first ticket to the World Series after tonight's ball game? Once again, I hope so. And here's Christian Yelich now, trying here to plate the tying run from second. As a look, now the pitch. And this is sliced hard down the left field line. And now it'll kick around in the corner. And they'll tie the ball game as the run scores from second to make it a 2-2 ball game now. Hey, this guy's having a big series in the postseason. It looks like to me that the moment isn't too big for him. He's slowing the game down. He looks terrific. Yeah, absolutely. Postseason monster right here. Having a huge series. Any big leaguer can have their moment mid-May, but to do it when it gets cold outside means everything. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. One and one to count to the Brewers' first baseman. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. Two men are on with two men out. Just a bit low. Tough ball, mm. but it's two and two. Now two and two, two on, two out. This is when you have to make a pitch right here. The last thing you want to do is run the count full to three and two. Then the runners are going to be off to the races. Hit sharply on the ground. Right to him. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Just one hit in the end. All right, not too bad. Big one right here as it ties the ball game. We played two and a half, and we're deadlocked now at two apiece. Not too bad, just enough to make it interesting. All right, Christian Yelich. I see you. The inning now, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Mookie Betts. The right fielder, Mookie Betts. Now the first pitch. And it's fouled away. He's got to be more disciplined here. It's 0 and 2. Hey, that was a nasty pitch right there. Ton of rotation on that ball. You could almost see the red dot from up here. Nasty depth. High in the air down the right field line. Bradley is there. One away. Now that now to bat, Fernando Tatis Jr. He went down looking in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this A.B. And that'll bring Mike Trout to the dish. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. Super important situation right here for the pitcher to go one, two, three. Get back in the dugout, regroup. He struggled early, but if he can knock out this one, two, three inning, I think he can right the ship. And he fouls this one off. Two out, nobody on. 
Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance of hitting that one, and the inning is over. And that brings up the left-handed hitting Travis Shaw. 0 for 1 after a pop-out in foul territory his first time through. 50th pitch of the game on its way. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Thought about it, but he holds up on the knuckle curve 1 and 2. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. Another 1-2 delivery. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off-speed pitch in the dirt. And another foul ball. Another 2-2 offering. He takes it to the opposite field, high and deep to left. A leap, but he won't get it. It's off the wall. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Wow, throw a 10 over it and bring out He could have taken third if he wanted. <laughs> Looked like a three-ring circus out there. One outfielder missed time wow, to jump, and the ball gets past him. His buddy has to back him up and get the ball in. A good thing, too. Otherwise, it could have been a triple or even an inside the Parker. Yeah, that was rude. But Mike Trout is there, then. You the box, try fielding the ball off the monster, okay? Pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Both clubs with three hits in the ball game fouled off. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. Let's go. And here's nice. a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Up next to the so now a runner on at second with one away. And in to hit next, it'll be the left-handed batter, Jackie Bradley Jr. As Waldo comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for out number two. Striding in is D. Strange Gordon. He bounced out last time up. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. And it's quickly 0-2. On 0-2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. And strike three called. Bring him up on a ball. Side retired. Milwaukee I will take one. it. We'll go to the bottom Get out of the, of the fourth, inning. All even at two apiece. Here's Nolan Arenado. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. The third baseman, Nolan Arenado. Here's the first pitch. Lifted into center field after it is Kane. Get out of here. He gets there and makes the Dang. play for the first out. So deep to so the one down, no one aboard. And up next will be Gavin Lux. First pitch on the way. Lifted the other way to left center after it is Yelich. Nice. And that's it, into the gap yes. and should be extra bases. Three. Around second. He's on his way to third. The relay throw, but he is in there with a triple. Let's go. This is an easy decision for him to try for third because he has the play right in front of him. So he doesn't have to rely on any of his base coaches. Good decision to keep chugging, and he makes it all the way around safely. Nice. He barely got there, too, but... Again, we'll take it. So here's Pete Alonzo. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. Rock solid performance up to this part of the ball game right now. One of the keys, 90% of his first pitches have been for strikes. And when you do that, you really make the hitter swing at the pitch you want them to swing at. A ball and a strike now.
strike one out and a runner on third. Fouled away. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. That strikeout changes the whole complexion of the inning. He was definitely pitching for it with a runner on third yeah, and one out, and he that. got it. Now it's going to take a hit or something like a wild pitch to get that guy home. Hey, Alonzo, I thought he was supposed to be the clutch machine. Now we got Will Smith. At the plate, Will Smith. Curveball bounces, and this one gets away. A play at the plate. And a Let's go! He's safe. The go-ahead run scores from third. Three to two. We are not playing safe when we are fighting for the World Series. I did not want a chance getting a single. The ball got away. I said send them. Love to see it. one delivery high in the air out to center field he's under it and that ends the inning doesn't matter we took the lead three so to one two on one hit no errors and no one left on to the top of inning number five we go the Wizards lead it three to two let's go World Series bound New inning set to get underway, and next will be the pitcher, Freddy Peralta. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. Man, he's looking sharp so far. 80% of his first pitches are for strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. And the Brewers get a man into scoring position on the leadoff double. Man, that's got the sting for the pitcher. He also could have got three teammates. if he wanted. They just get on the board and are feeling good about themselves, looking for a shutdown inning so they can get some more runs on the board. But instead, this guy blasts a leadoff double. Getting that shutdown inning is going to be a lot tougher now. Lorenzo Kane is in for the third time here as he watches one that misses low. It's a ball and no strikes. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? And now Colton Wong trying to bring in the tying run from third here. One ball, no strikes to count. Now the 1 0. Grounded up the first baseline. Reined in. And a step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Nice. So stepping in we'll is take that. Christian Yelich. The potential tying run for him at third base. No balls and one strike. Two runs, four hits, and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. Hey, he finds himself down 0-2 with the quickness. I know he's a great two-strike hitter, but this at bat, he's going to have to find a way to nickel and dime and get this thing back to even. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. Line drive to left. And a dive in left, but he can't get it. It'll get Dang by it. him toward the wall. Wow, this is a seesaw game. Brewer's really the bringing it. Effort there from the left fielder. It just didn't work out as the ball squirts by him, resulting in a double. That's the danger of leaving your feet in the outfield. At the plate now, Daniel Vogelback. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He's one for two in this one. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Might have to change your game plan. A swing and a miss. Let's go. Ring him up. Sit him down. Do Brewers get a run on the RBI double. Bottom of the fifth coming up. We're tied now with three apiece. Stepping in once again is Barry Iswaldo. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Oh. 
Oh one count. Here's the pitch. It's a third. Shaw fields it cleanly. And there's one away. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Herman Marquez, flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Here's the pitch. Now a swing and a miss as they start him out on a pitch well inside for strike one. Boy, that's a jam shot right there. That's as good as it gets, in my opinion. Whoop, up and in. Behind 0 and 2 now. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. I'll tell you, he's showing no signs of tiring right now. Still looks razor sharp from what I can tell, so I think he might last a while longer if he can keep this up. So that'll bring in Mookie Betts. As, oh goodness, not ready for that slider at all. That's strike one. A hit in two tries for him so far. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Two out, nobody on. on Luke. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Set for the start of the inning and set to go as the third baseman, Travis Shaw. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. There's a fastball right down Broadway taken for a strike. Hit well towards the hole. He's got it. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Here's a swing. And oh, oh no. man. Way out of here. Yeah, that was a blast. A solo shot here to straightaway right field as they take the lead four to three. There's still Take a look at that one again. To be played, but that one swing could end up being a deciding factor in this one. Mm. So here now is Jackie Bradley. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Here's a late swing and a miss. Strike two. He's going to have to figure out a way to get out of the middle of the plate. Just gave up a big bomb right there, and now he's missing right down the heart of the plate again. Could spell trouble for him. You don't see that too much in today's game. Most guys, it doesn't matter what the count is. They're looking to line them. Drive the ball out of the ballpark. Not the oh, hang on now. This no. Ball is right, and I don't think this one's coming Dang back. It. No chance. It's gone. That is not what we needed. I was just thinking about pulling it too. A blast to straight away right Oof. field, and it's now six to three. Be strange, Gordon. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. Dang it! Not good. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Freddy Peralta. And the starter remains out there despite just allowing the long ball. We thought maybe they'd go and get him, but no indication of that yet. Yeah, to me, that home run was a sign that he's starting to get a little bit tired out there. It was a good pitch to hit, and it's typically the command that starts slipping when you're fatiguing a little bit. So I can't see him being out there much longer. Now here comes the skipper out of the first base dugout heading for the mound. And he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. Gone after five and a third here as he never really found his groove in this one. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a lock with him on the mound, but geez. Luke Weaver, a six foot two inch right hander, jogs in to take over on the mound. Luke Weaver.
First pitch coming. Here it is. Ground ball sent back up the middle. A diving try, but it's through into the wow. outfield. Hey guys, that's his second Rude. hit of the game. He's also got a good chance of getting a W on the mound. I mean, this is stuff you do when you're nine and ten years old, not when you're in professional baseball. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. No hits to this point. Down the third baseline, but this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0 and 2 now. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two Let's gone. Go. Good job, Luke. Here's the second baseman, Colton Wong. He grounded out last time up. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. Hey, this pitcher's being super. A swing and a drive no. sent down toward the gap. Back goes Trout at the track, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. They'll add on to their total as the run scores all the way from first. It's a 7 to 3 ball game. That's seven the difference three. between average and good hitters. Good hitters almost Yo. always take advantage of RBI opportunities when they present themselves. He does it here, and the lead is now four. So now to the plate, Christian Yelich, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. A couple of RBIs for him already, and a chance for more here. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop nice. the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate, and they push across four runs. Two, three, and four do up in the home half of the sixth. Brewers are out in front, seventh. And stepping in, Fernando Tatis Jr. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. If you look at their win percentage or something like that right now, got to be honest, the odds are obviously stacked against them. But I'm looking for them to show me something right here. Maybe they get back. Yeah, in this me too. Game. Maybe they don't. But I want to see what kind of at bats they put together. This is where you have to lock in as a team. Every guy has to go up to the plate and have a good, productive A.B. to get this team going. I agree. Another one sent foul. Here's another 0-2. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close mm. to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Wow, that's the case right there where a pitcher knows this guy's up there and he's in swing mode. That pitch wasn't even close to the strike zone and he still swung at it. Mike Trout is in for a third plate appearance as he watches one miss inside. It's 1 0. Oh. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Counts even to Trout 1 and 1. This is why the manager pencils these guys in, in the middle of the order. Big spot. Time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality ABs. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Crowd didn't like that one. Me neither. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Uh, got him on the good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for oh, the no, second no. time tonight. He's really on a roll right now on the mound. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to wrap up the last inning. And now he started this frame with the same story. Four straight strikeouts her in Marquez highlights. And that'll bring in Nolan Arenado. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Oh, and one here it comes. A bouncer up the middle. Scooped up. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Hmm. Dang. Now into the box, Daniel Vogelback. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park, just like he did back in the second. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. 
Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Bottom part of the zone, a good changeup gets the call. Gutsy pitch right there. 2 0 changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. And it's fouled away. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. Travis Shaw will be next. And he fouls this one off. Not where I wanted to miss that. And he'll finally just wear Let's him go. down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. Leading off the inning, your job is to get on base and set the table for the inning. That was a pretty good at bat that he pushed the count to three and two and made the pitcher work. But I think he'd like to have that three two pitch back. Pretty sure that was ball four he went after. In now, Travis Shaw, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. His batter pitcher numbers with Luke Weaver. He's three for 15. He also has one home run. Fouled off. The one two. He is swung on and missed. He got him Let's on strike. I'll tell you, it's hard Two to get more row. confidence boost than striking out the best hitters in the lineup. Back to back to back. He's looking really sharp right now. Good job, Luke. Narvaez will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle innings. This was a turning point here. A solo home run that was really one of the key at bats of the ball game to this point. To first. He's right there. And he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. Gone in order of the Brewers. But they lead it by four. It's seven to three. Now with the plate, Gavin Lux will try and get something started in the whole Logan. half of the seventh. And now the first pitch. Taken off the outside as the breaking ball couldn't catch the corner. Trying to bunt his way aboard, but he can't mm. connect, and it's one and one. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. He pops him up toward the left side of the infield. And he'll put this one away Dang for the it. first out of the inning. The first Stepping in next, Pete Alonzo. Strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Hey, that's the modern game right now. North south. Elevate that high fastball and bury stuff in the dirt. Completely different from the east west we came up playing. A swing and a miss for out number two, and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. He's just ringing up strikeouts now left and right. But what's you. really impressive to me, he hasn't walked anyone either. He's just pounding the zone. His stuff is dirty today. to the plate now Will Smith and a fastball runs in a bit too close for comfort that time 0 for 2 for him to this point good opposite field power here taken high and deep to right back forward is Bradley but this one's going to kick off the wall the tag and they'll Come get it in the second and with that the side is retired dang it
one is not looking good. He's been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Luckily, there's a game seven if we need it. And in to hit next, it'll be the left-handed batter, Jackie Bradley Jr. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. Curveball, strike three called, and he didn't Let's like it. Let's go, ring him up. First out. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. D. Strange Gordon comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Swing and a ball hit well to the right the side, but this will get into the crowd. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He's around first, heading for two. And he's not stopping. He wants three. Crowd's get him. Will come in two oh, he's come in on. The second this thing got past the outfielder, you knew it was at least a double, possibly a triple. But he turns on the afterburners and is safely into third. Stepping in now, Freddie Peralta. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. One and two to the Brewers pitcher. He got him, and it'll probably take a base hit now to get that runner across from third. So two gone now in the Brewers' half of the eighth, and that'll bring up the center fielder, Lorenzo Cain, as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 and 1. A 1 and 1 count to the Brewers' leadoff man. Men on third with two down. A ball and two strikes now. Hey, I don't mind that take right there. That was a nasty breaking ball. Started outside the zone, popped back inside the zone. And we'll just leave it there as they make the play to end the inning. Brewers strand one. They hang on to a seven to three lead. Go, Moody. Well some runs. Give me some offense. Out in his last and fast. First pitch on the way. Hard hit ball to second. Wong is there. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Gary Waters steps into the on deck circle now, looking to start something here with one gone in the inning. Now the first pitch as he'll swing and lift a fly ball to right center and the pinch hitter will not mm. be able to advance the cause and there are two away now next to hit is Mookie Betts and they're down to their final four outs here Dan yeah it's not looking too not good like for them the right now Matt they've got a significant hill to climb but they've got to take it one bat at a time a couple of guys get on and then who knows what could happen the wind up and the 0 1 runs up and gets this one down Oh, not in time, and that Let's go. Nice. Runners on the move for second. Oh, and he breaks, and they've got him picked off. Dang it. And they'll get him at second. Not good. Side is retired. Not good. But get. Wizards Game never die. Remember that. Remember that for the ninth inning. Seven to three. Taylor Rogers enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Colton Wong will stand in. He'll try and lead things off here in inning number nine. One and oh the count. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Lux has a play. 
And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Next to hit, Christian Yelich. Right, let's just get him out real fast. And then let's try to get our offense going in the, neck, in the bottom of the net. Starts sinker that's inside, 1-0. This one's blooped out toward right center field. Tatis on to Get there, the Fernando. He gets there, and that's the second out. Daniel Vogelback will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning. As we flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. Oh, and you talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt. That's low, but called a strike anyway. Nothing in two now. Hey, this is an amazing inning right here. Attacking the zone, keeping his defense invested. Chance to get off the field super quick. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. The 0 2 once more. He swung on and missed. He got Let's go. Strikes. Three up, three down for Milwaukee, but they lead it by four. It's seven to three. Yeah, that is not good. Not the good. Justin Topa, the six foot four inch right hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. And that'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. First pitch of the AB now. Oh, and an ugly swing there. It's 0 and 1. Ugly. Now here it comes. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. No way. I love the fact that this batter continues to be aggressive, but after striking out twice already, maybe he's got to take a step back see the ball a little bit deeper and be willing to work deep into the count find the line there for the Brewers starting pitcher and he really delivered a fantastic postseason performance he did yeah, against the Wizards really dialed in from start to finish this is the kind of outing you hope for every time you go out there so I think he'll feel pretty good about the effort. let's go my crowd baby that time, and it's that's for the fans that's way out of here and this one is 429. Gone. Let's go. It's a solo home run here for Mike Trout. His third We're not out yet. Series. Wizards never and die. It's a 7 to 4 ball game. Wizards never die. It's 7 to 4. Well, people always wonder why some players make so much money, and there's your answer. The great ones find a way to rise to the occasion in the postseason, and he did right there. Boom. Yes, he did. Standing in now, Nolan Arenado. Arenado. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan Dero, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, you know, Dero, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Second baseman, Gavin Lux. Josh Hader takes over on the mound now as he'll try to get the final out of the ball game here and pick up a save. Into the box now, Gavin Lux as he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Now here's the pitch. And this ball's in the air to left field, and this should do it. And no. he will make the catch here for the final out. And the Dang it, we ran out of elimination here What on can the I road. say? You can't win they them all. Set up a winner take all game seven tomorrow night. 
as this one is over. Well, that's why you pay the winner take all tomorrow. <laughs> slam the door quickly when he has to. Two pitches, oh, one out, and that game's on ice. Well done. They're high. They should be. Wow. Seven four tonight's final. Brewers beat us here at Taco Bell Field. Seven That's kind of rude. Is the final score in tonight's game. Milwaukee have evened up this series at three wins apiece. Freddie Peralta is credited with the win. Herman Marquez permitted six earned runs to come across that. in the losing effort. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Can Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. Well, we did put Twitter, up a fight. At MLB The Show. And if you enjoyed it, I would encourage you to hit the like button. Hit the subscribe. Hit the bell. We will have a new Wizards baseball all the time and we're potentially headed to the world series or we're potentially not in the next one so you're gonna want to stick around for that one because the brewers must be honest they kind of handed it to us on this one but i have confidence moving forward so i'll see you then thanks for stepping by